Shout out to Scooter Bud. I did not forget about you. I told you I was gonna shout you out in my video. So when you see this, make sure you drop a comment below and let me know you seen it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is up? It's your boy, the Dash and Trader. Look, I just wanted to check in real quick. I'm sitting here. I did two Uber orders. One of them was an $8 Chick-fil-A order. $8 going like three miles or something. Got that one done. I took that one because I had a Walmart Spark order, right? Check this out. $14 and something on the Spark order. But when I got there, it, I waited for like 10 minutes and they didn't bring it out. So I unassigned it. I said, okay, boom. I'm going to grab this Chick-fil-A. And then when I come back, maybe they'll have it ready. Because when I unassigned it, I was able to grab it right back. It went up by a couple bucks, right? Drop the Chick-fil-A off. I come back. They still don't got the order ready, y'all. I'm like, man. So you know what? I say, you know what? I got to switch gears, man. I was planning on coming out and having a Walmart Spark evening. You see, I'm right here at Walmart. I'm still here. But I had to switch gears. I said, you know what? Instead of that, we finna make it an Uber Eats night. I went on and un uh, I resumed my uh, shift on Uber. Got another Chick-fil-A offer. $13 and... Seven cent, thirteen dollars and seven cents for six point nine miles. Boom! Shot right back over to Chick Fil A. It's like two minutes down the road. Got that order, drove it seven miles away. Got back over her. Tell me why this Walmart ain't even bringing out order. So I'm like, you know what? I think I really made the right decision because sometimes you have a plan when you leave the house, right? And you say, I'm, I'm gonna work this app. I'm gonna do it this way. But then you know what? things things happen and you got to be able to adapt to the situation so i adapt now i could turn on instacart i could turn on uh doordash also but i like the uber eats orders over here in this area because they have them ready more more times than not they have them ready so i said i'm gonna go with uber eats now i could go with doordash but see the thing is i don't want i'm in this new area and i haven't done a whole lot of doordash over here yet so i want to get real nice and familiar with all the pickup locations right or all the 10 because look when, when i'm doing apps it's only a, a certain you know five to ten maybe 15 different merchants that i'm gonna be picking up from at any given time so once i figure out who those excuse me who those five to ten merchants is on doordash in this little area right here then i feel more comfortable multi-apping with them but for right now while i'm on uber we got uh jack in the box right here we got denny's and then we got chick-fil-a down there that kfc it's not the worst one I've been at, but it could be a little bit quicker. But we got a lot of places that I'm comfortable picking up them Uber Eats orders in conjunction while doing some Walmart Sparks. But on the flip side, the DoorDash, DoorDash don't even deal with all the same merchants that Uber Eats deals with out here. So back in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, where I just came from a couple weeks ago, pretty much 90% of the time, if the, if the merchant did food delivery, they did it with all the apps, DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub. But what I'm coming to find in this new zone over here is that a lot of times you'll have a merchant and they will only specifically deal with one delivery app. So in this little Glen Carbon, Illinois area that I'm in, I'm finding that if, if they allow pickups for Uber, they're not allowing for DoorDash. Or if they allow them for Grubhub, they're not allowing for Food Dudes. For whatever reason, but that's something that I need to be aware of when I'm doing my deliveries, because it may not always be situations where I pull up and get two deliveries from the same spot going in the same direction it may be it may be a little bit more difficult to multi-app but it still is possible right another thing to add on to that when i'm doing these walmart sparks if i know it's gonna be long wait times that gives me that time i need to do that uber eats order or that doordash order uh conversely so that's 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 just to say make sure that you can adapt to the situation no matter what no matter which app you go out the house planning on working, make sure you keep the other ones on standby just in case you need to pop them on so that you can still have a profitable trip, a profitable day. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, I didn't only made $21. I've been out for an hour and 10 minutes now because I've been sitting here recording this video. I've been out an hour and 10 minutes, made $21, but here's the kicker. For the last 15 minutes, I've been sitting here. Yeah, and I could have went home, but I said, you know what? Let me wait and see if I can get something else to bump that hourly rate up to that $30 an hour range that I like it to be at. But it didn't happen this time, but that's okay. The thing is, if I would have just only had Walmart Spark, I wouldn't have made no money. I mean, chances are I would just now be leaving with that delivery. And I get it. It's Thursday, Thursday night. You know, they're getting busy. You know, it, it ain't that many people running the mortars out. So it ain't their fault. But I have to make an educated decision on what's best for me so I can hit my goals, make my profit. And that's what I want you to do. Make sure you're making an educated decision when you're out there trying to make that money because 
Everybody else working, doing their job, and they doing their thing as fast as they can, but you also got to make sure your brain working as fast as it can, too, so you can get that money. And, and somebody else I want to shout out, too, my boy right here, the Ride Shirt Hustler. I'm watching his recent video. He just uploaded this, but he basically saying he going to be back. He ain't went nowhere. He just had to take a little break from YouTube, and you know what? Sometimes it be like that, you know? You need to go ahead and get your stuff together, and YouTube ain't going nowhere, so hey, don't feel bad if you need to take a little time and... Focus on getting your things together. That's what you got to do. And I'm not speaking to Ride Shirt Hustler specifically. I'm talking to everybody. If you need to take a break from something that you're doing just so you can get yourself together, that's fine. Because guess what? I did the same thing. I had to move halfway across the dang country. So I said, guess what? I'm about to take a little time away from the channel. I still do a little bit here and there. But the every day, I'm going to stop and put that on hold. And I'm going to take care of business, take care of these responsibilities. And then once I'm done with all that and everything, copacetic, YouTube ain't going nowhere. YouTube will be right here. And I'll be right back to be the fastest dasher alive, the fastest editor alive. And you better stop playing with me. Come on now. So look, if you made it this far in this video, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you. You the real MVP. Stop playing with me. And you already know, if I had another order, that would be order number three. But look, make sure you leave me with a like and a subscribe and comment below. What do you do when you have a situation like that where you come out with a plan, you, you know, you ready to work, do your thing, but then you get hit with a monkey wrench? Do you go ahead and fold or do you, you know what I'm saying, make it work for you? So you can still hit your daily goals and hit your profits. Well, I was going to end it right there. But you know what? Uber must have heard me talking crap because they sent me another order. One more order to just go ahead and finish it off. And you won't even believe where it's for. You guessed it, Chick-fil-A. We got one more at $7 for 3.7 miles. And I'm going to make this my last one because that'll just give me 30 bucks. And I can fill my tank up and ready to hit it for tomorrow. So look at that right there. $7 for 3.7 miles right there. Boom. We're going to head on up there and grab that. Make sure you stay focused. Make sure you stay motivated. And if you like this video, make sure you check out this other one right here. This is the one YouTube think you should watch, so you might as well go ahead and watch it. I mean, what the hell are you waiting for? Ain't number earn opportunity. Come on, man. Stop playing with me.